and nowadays I've probably spent over 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 hours on the computer and I have like a ridiculous, ridiculously fast uh, typing speed and so forth. But at the time I was like, whatever. So my dad got rid of it and uh, he didn't pay for it. And it wasn't until like a couple years later, I guess high school, when it returned and it was much faster and um, then came fiber optics, Fios, and um, I, we never really got Fios, I don't think. Maybe we did at one point, um, but it was just touted by Verizon. Um, I guess, basically, um, it was like, it, it was noted as like the fastest thing ever, lightning speed internet, which was just, like everyone was just raving about it. Uh, but we never got it, and I guess what happened was the competition uh, for other services um, just caught up in speed without resorting to FiOS or whatever. Uh, but the problem with FiOS was uh, it worked for cable, TV, and uh, internet. And the problem was it was really pricey, like 300 bucks um, or something crazy like that. So... Um, yeah, that was it. And then what happened with AOL Online, you can probably guess, it sort of died really quickly. And um, then came in Comcast, which is still a, v a ruler of its day. Not as big as ruler, not a big, not as big a ruler as it was um, when it first w was like introduced to most households. Um, but yeah, it, it controlled cable and it held a really strong hand in internet as well. Nowadays, it still does, but it also does a little uh, telephone as well. Mm, yes, no. Uh, and then Verizon stepped in as well as the major competitor. Um, and they sort of do all three as well. TV, cable, and uh, what's the last one? TV, cable, and internet. Um, and then Verizon came with the Fios, fiber optics. Um, so AOL sort of died and then we very quickly all those discs like tables full of piles of discs uh, they all disappeared and we were just being like mailed them and shoved them back when they were when dial up was the thing and now they were all gone and then like the year after like every all the dial up pretty much like more or less went out of business Be but like if you were at the time in the business, you wouldn't admit it went out of business. It was still constantly fighting to keep up. But um, the the years after, like we would still have these piles left over in our study room and we would never use them. Uh, my dad always kept them for whatever reason uh, in case he needed it. But at, we all, once we got to the cable, we never went back to dial up. Like it was such a clear advantage, um, you know what? It was just like cable, it was worth it despite its increased price because um, it freed up the house phone and it was so much faster and that was it. Um, and then I guess what happened, uh, long story short, my dad, so my dad was like, try it out and I'm like, I don't really care. So he didn't buy it. Um, and then later on, eventually he bought it, I guess, because he liked the internet so much. He had a lot of uses for it and computers and he was always upgrading to keep up so like when Dell came out with its flat screens he got it and then when TurboTax came out he got it and then when like faster more advanced computers came out he got it and nowadays with the supercomputers he, ha he has a really fast computer now downstairs he's always up to date with this stuff it's crazy so um, nowadays he's slowing in down with it and he's not as tech savvy as me but um yeah, so eventually in high school, for sure, um, that's when Facebook came along, MySpace and so forth, and and email and instant messaging and all this stuff, which I will talk about in part two, um, and a lot more as well. Um, what 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 else do I have to say about uh, internet? Um, yeah, I guess it it has helped me quite a deal. Uh, nowadays, you know, I listen to audiobooks on there. I got iTunes going on there. I type on there with Word. It's helped me write so many papers. It's gained, it has so much free knowledge on uh, 
stock investing to um, self-help advice, dating advice. That's all free. A lot of free content on YouTube, which you're probably watching me through. Uh, and then there's YouTube to talk about. I, I'm probably not going to hit everything, but so much to talk about on here. It's it's ridiculous. Um, and so that's it, internet is still helping us to it to this day, and it's still growing. It's still growing. And then came Google. Um, when when dial-up was around, I don't think Google was big at all. And oh yes, I need to talk about Wikipedia and back when it was still starting up. Now it's Google and Wikipedia are the biggest things. But um, as far as Google went, it was a sort of uh, very very um, it, it it didn't exist with when dial-up was around. Or if it did, I didn't use it. I didn't know about it. Um, it wasn't until later, I guess, um, high school when I heard about it and used it, maybe middle school, um, but Yahoo was big then and then Google didn't become it, the monopoly search engine giant. Um, it is now until probably like late high school, um, because there was competitors back then that were pretty big. Ask Jeeves, um, Yahoo and MSN search which is now Bing, and everyone hates Bing now. Um, uh, I know I'm missing a lot of stuff from the internet, but I, I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, uh, the internet, I, I think I hit most of the bases though. And yeah, dial-up got killed, satellite TV got killed, um, those industries just got hit hard. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for part two where I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff from the advent of cell phones, from the, the big hulky ones, to how uh, we started with freaking mailing each other with letters and now then came email, instant messaging, and then Facebook, and then MySpace, and, and so forth.